all of our technology is focused on uh, on high throughput screening of hundred or thousand molecules in order to be able to select all of these patients. In the case of the congenital disorders of glycosylation, we have a new a new device that was funded by Ciberer, the research network in Spain for rare diseases. And this device, that is a capillary zone electrophoresis, has a system that in which we are able to measure the different forms of a protein named transferrin. This protein is very important for diagnosis of CDG patients because it's, because it's a highly glycosylated protein and we are able to measure the different uh, undersialylated fractions of this protein in order to do a first step diagnosis of these patients. In fact, we have here, if you can see these examples, this is the way we are seeing uh, the analysis of cyalotransferrin. This is the majority form, that is the tetracyalotransferrin, that is the normal form, and these little peaks that appear at the beginning of the electrophorogram are the under cyalidated forms of transferrin, and sometimes the diagnosis is achieved by the analysis of some of these very little peaks compared with a normal patient. This is a normal patient, and this is a patient with a congenital disorder of glycosylation. The advantage of this system is that we are able to quantif quantify the different fractions of these under cyalidated forms. But this is specifically dedicated to congenital disorders of glycosylation, um, but other systems that are here. Like this one, these are uh, chromatographic systems that can analyze uh, hundreds or thousands of compounds and may also, a very important part in the diagnosis of congenital disorders of glycosylation and other diseases, that is the differential diagnosis. I mean that we need to know which diseases uh, have, uh, uh, are not present in the patient in order to do this differential diagnosis and in order to reach the final or definite diagnosis by means of this laboratory test. In this case, uh, this one is very important because just with one urine uh, analysis, urine analysis, we may study about uh, 130 disease, different diseases and do this differential diagnosis in 40 minutes more or less. The, these other devices it, at the end are also devices dedicated for the analysis of amino acids and also in two hours more or less we are able to detect about 20 or 25 different diseases related with amino acids. And the, all, the other machines that you are seeing here are also dedicated to this uh, general screening for patients with involuntary of metabolism, including congenital disorders of glycosylation.